you hear all the time, like how do you balance work and family or work and life? And there's a big topic of a conversation about work-life balance. And over my last 10 years of growing a business and growing a family, I've come to find out it's not about work-life balance. In fact, that's a lie. It's more of a work-life integration because you can only be in one place at one time. And it's really about integrating both of those things. Um, I know myself included, and I've heard the stories of many other entrepreneurs and business owners where they start out to create a business that will support their family. But what ends up happening is you get overwhelmed, work happens and life happens, and sometimes that switches where you're so focused on growing your business that it comes to the detriment of your family. I've seen it happen with other people. There was a moment when in my life where it happened with me. And again, I just wanna give you three tips that I've learned on how you can better integrate your family and business. And when I say integrate your work and family, I'll share with you a story of how my work life crashed into my personal life and what happened as a result. The first tip when it comes to growing a business and your family is be present. When I grew up, I had this guy in my neighborhood I, gre I greatly respected. He was successful in business. He had a great family. He showed up in church and community. And one time I asked him, how do you do everything? Like, how is it that you are able to have be successful in all these elements of life? And he said, I think of it like plate spinning. Have you seen those plate spinners where they'll get a plate spinning on a little stick and they get it going and then that starts to spin and they'll go to the next plate and they get that plate spinning and that's working well, they go to the next plate. So they have like three or five plates spinning and then this one starts to wobble and they'll go back and they'll get that spinning again. It's the same thing, right? You get your family taken care of, or maybe your kids, you get their kids plate spinning, hey, they're taken care of, okay, great. Now I can focus on my spouse and I can get that plate spinning. And then guess what? I gotta work on the business. Okay, let's get that spinning too. And I also have a personal life. I need to go on adventures. Like let's go snowboarding or skateboarding, right? So you get that plate spinning. But guess what? The kid plate starts to wobble. You gotta go back to it. So you can't be spinning multiple plates at once. When you're at work, by definition, you're neglecting your family. When you're with your family, by definition, you're neglecting your work. And that's totally fine. What's important is wherever you are, be there 100%. When you're at work, be at work 100% and knock that, like just knock out the work. With your, when you're with your kids, be 100% present with your kids. Which actually leads me to tip number two, is to set and respect boundaries. So a problem I kept running into when I first started uh, my agency is I was working all the time. Uh, there was a lot of overwhelm that creeped in. Uh, we had, I, we'd get new clients, I had to create a marketing campaign. We were, I was traveling a ton. And what would happen is I'd be taking phone calls during dinner time with my wife. And that wasn't fair to my clients and it wasn't fair to my wife. And I could just, there's so much spillover between work and family that it wasn't serving anybody. And it was eventually when I found out this wasn't working that I had to say, you know what? After five o'clock, I'm done with work and I'm 100% present with my family and kids. And during the day, I'm 100% focused on work. Weekends, I'm not working weekends anymore. I used to let my, creep, my work creep in through the weekends. Um, I set a firm boundary that I don't wanna be working on Saturdays and Sundays. Sometimes I have to let work creep in on Saturdays if there's a, a, a certain shoot or a project that we're launching. But for the most part, that's a boundary that I need to respect. So by setting and respecting firm boundaries, that's something that has been very helpful for me. And the third tip that I can give you is don't be afraid to integrate your work life and personal life. Because sometimes you, we try and keep those things those separate, right? Sometimes like, oh, I'm, I'm work Jake and I'm family Jake. But guess what? Sometimes those two worlds collide and they crash into each other and you just need to accept that and integrate it. The big takeaway for me was uh, I had spoken at this conference and uh, I had met a, a CEO and some CMOs in their business and like, hey, we liked what you had to share on stage. We'd love to get a, on a strategy call and talk about how you can help us grow our business with YouTube. So I spent the next week, I, I put this pitch together 
and uh, and I was getting ready to share it. I was meeting with them like Friday at five o'clock, and I was going through uh, this strategy with them. At that same time, I that a couple of days before, I had my then four year old daughter, who I promised that I would take her to the movies Friday Friday evening. So uh, again, I had these kind of two different uh, elements of life show up. So my also, I'm working at home, right? I'm in my basement office, and I'm on this video call with the CEO and the owner of this company. They're a bigger company. I really wanted to get their business. I put a lot of work and effort to developing this strategy, and I was pitching it, I was pitching it to him, right? This is the videos we can create. These are the numbers we expect. And the most important part or critical part of a sales call is, okay, how much does it cost? What's the investment, right? So I'm in my home office, they're on Zoom, and this is before COVID, right? This is where it's like not many people are working from home. And so I was trying to maintain this professional standard of, uh, it's like a professional work office. And in the background, right behind me is like the off the door that comes into my home office. So I'm on Zoom with them, I'm talking to them, and I go, okay, great, Jake, how much is this gonna cost? Like, what does this investment look like? And right then, my four-year-old daughter right behind me, busts open the door and she goes, dad, it's time to go to the movies. And I'm like panicked because I see the clients right there on the Zoom call. I go back, I see my daughter behind me and I'm doing like this double take, like here are my two worlds colliding, what do I do? Uh, some people would have maybe yelled at their kid. Luckily, I didn't do that because I found that kids are kind of just curious about what their parents are up to. So what I did is like, hey, her name's Lola, I had her come up here and she sat on my lap like, hey, these are my friends I'm talking to about YouTube and I introduced them. And she's like, okay, like she just wanted to know what was going on. And I told her, hey, let me finish this conversation. I'll come back in like 10 minutes so we can go to the movies. So she she leaves the office and I'm my heart's pounding a little bit because I'm like, I wonder how they're gonna take this whole interaction. Are they gonna be frustrated that my daughter barged in and ruined the meeting? To my surprise, they loved it. They thought it was so funny. They thought it was so funny. It, it's real, right? It's real life that I have people have kids and kids do crazy things. And they said, "Hey, Jake, we love your strategy. We love we love the price. We want to work with you. Uh, go have fun with the movie with your daughter." And she basically closed them right there on the spot. And that was my big takeaway: is like, don't be afraid to let your personal life or family life creep into your business. In fact, don't try and balance them because if you're trying to balance all the plates, they're all gonna collapse and they're gonna, they're gonna crash. But sometimes those, those two worlds collide and just integrate them. Try and try your best, like you gotta show up as your whole self and people will see that and they'll respect it. In fact, with this client, we ended up working for years and years together. We made a lot of money together with them and it was a great business relationship. And it's because like they, they respected the not only the work that we did with them, but they also saw behind the scenes on the personal life. So my advice is don't be afraid to show up uh, as your whole self in work. Don't be afraid if your kids crash a Zoom meeting or a podcast interview, which has happened to me several times, just embrace the chaos because it adds a human element that people enjoy. So I hope this is helpful for you. Again, as you go about growing your family and your business, remember, to be present, like wherever you are, there you are. When you're at work, be at work. When you're at home, be at home. Um, and just be 100% present with your family uh, or your business, depending on where you're at. Number two, set and create firm boundaries. Again, try just force yourself to cut that off. Sometimes it's hard to like, you wanna keep working and keep growing, but the more I've learned, the more I set boundaries and respect those boundaries, the more energy I have. Uh, if, it, if you think it's hard to like, turn the work off at five or work through the work through the weekends find something else that's fun to do find something else that fills your that fills your life that fills your cup up with energy and pursue that because a lot of times I just see people working all the time and they kind of have a miserable life it doesn't sound very fun to me and step number three don't try and balance and separate your family and work life it's okay to integrate the two and have the two worlds collide so that's been helpful for me. I hope it's been helpful for you. I'm curious though, what's your experience like when it comes to integrating your family and work life? Have you had any uh, 
moments where those, those worlds have collided. I'd love to hear back from you. Drop a comment below. Um, this is a little bit separate from video marketing, but I thought it would serve a lot of people who are in that same bucket. So if you're still watching, you should definitely check out our next video where I walk through how to make money on YouTube with ads. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.